All right, all right, and dino my, thanks for stopping by. So I want to show you my new and improved shower setup 2.0. There's my dirty clothes. Just got through with the shower. Let's check out the aftermath. So this is what I've decided on. I got rid of the other shower tent, that pop-up, and I'm just going to use this one for everything. Here's the aftermath of the shower. There's a little ground tarp I put down, and there's my table I put in here for my soap and shampoo and towel and stuff to put on. There's my new pump that I showed you on the last video. I love this thing. This is the best thing ever. Should have done it a long time ago. I gave away that blue pop-up shower tent. I'll talk more about that in the end of the video. But I wanted to show you the way I put my privacy tarps up. I decided to put them on the inside since there's cross rods all over this tent. And there's places just to clip it up with little alligator clips or binder clips, whatever you choose. But uh, let's back out and give you a, a more wide angle shot of it. And I'll talk about why I put the tarps on the inside instead of the outside. And I'll show you the difference. So as we pan around here, see that's a much neater appearance. Now on the other side, I put the tarp on the outside just to show you the difference. And it's got kind of a cluttered appearance when you do this. It looks, I mean, if you put... Can you imagine me just wrapping this thing in tarps? It would look like a homeless encampment, and I'm trying to avoid the aesthetics of that. But I did want to put the tarp up on the outside on this side just so you can see the difference. And I've got it clipped here to the uh, guideline coming off down at the bottom. But putting it on the inside is just easier. The tarps, you can double them up and clip them up in there, and you still get plenty of privacy. So you can't see through that thing. Down at the bottom you can, but, you know, if someone walks by and they see my feet, big deal. I just don't want to be swinging all my junk around in there for the world to see. So in this shot, I guess I'm just panning out here just so you'll see about the distance between the tent and the van. I like to leave enough room where it's not obstructed and I can walk through between the tent and the van, but not too far away from the van in case, you know, I want to step out of the van with just a towel around me, I can go straight into the shower. But this time I chose to, you know, wear my clothes into the shower, have my little table set up, just uh, disrobe, put all my dirty clothes on the table to keep them from getting wet on the ground. And when I come out of the tent, I just wrap the towel around me and go straight into the van. I don't have a lot of other campers around me really close, but in case I did, this would be a really good setup. You know, just because of the distance you would have to walk from your shower tent to your van. But you can see how far away the other campers are in the background. This is the first time I've done this, so I think I'll tweak some things and probably improve it a little bit more in the future. But... I'm real happy with this. This is great. I really enjoyed my shower and uh, it just feels good to get fresh and clean after you've been out in the desert. There's so much more room to move around in this tent than that little one person pop-up blue shower tent that I had. It's just a much better experience. I didn't feel like I was rushed to hurry up and get out of there. So uh, back to the pop-up shower tent that I gave away. Um, not only did I not like the size of it, it was also a real pain in the butt to fold it down and put it back in the carry bag. It was one of these things you have to fold in half and then twist and turn and all that stuff. And it, it took longer to take it down than it did to put it up. So uh, I uh, cleaned it up and took it down and put it in the carry bag and I started walking around to the other campers. I saw some in the distance and I thought I'll just go down there and see if they want a free tent. And the first lady I came up to wanted it and she was so happy to have it. So I'm glad I could get rid of it that way instead of having to throw it away. So uh, just do another shot of this. This is the ground tarp that actually came with the blue pop-up tent that I just gave away but I kept that tarp. I also spray a little bleach and water on it after each use before I uh, fold it up and put it away. But this is just the best setup ever. 
Let's wrap it up. Until next time, take care, be well, and smash that bell.